Most of the options income traders on our trading desk here at SMB trade a strategy known as the butterfly. Professional options income traders tend to gravitate towards the butterfly because it has excellent risk reward characteristics and is easily modified to adapt to market conditions and still maintain strong profitability potential. The initial risk reward ratio of a typical butterfly trade is very flexible but typically ranges anywhere from about 3 to 1 to as high as 10 to 1 depending on how this trade is initially structured by the professional options trader. In this video I'm going to be breaking down why the butterfly is so attractive to options income traders. So if you're interested in learning about the most popular initial setup on our trading desk then stick around because I think you're going to learn a lot from this video. Hi, I'm Seth Freudberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. You'll want to click our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos produced for the trading and investment community. Okay, so the butterfly is a strategy that can take many forms and the form that we'll be covering this video is known as the iron butterfly. It's comprised of a short call and a short put surrounded by a long call and a long put. So let's jump right into an example so you'll begin to understand what this is all about. But before I do that, I want to make sure you're familiar with all of the terminology involved in the trade. Now, most of you are probably familiar with index options, which are the options that we'll be using in this example, but there may be some who just have a passing knowledge of how they work. So I'm going to do a quick basic review of the basics so that you'll be able to understand this strategy. For those experienced options guys out there, don't worry, this will be quick and then we'll jump right back into the guts of the lesson. So you are all probably familiar with how equity options work. With equity options, a call buys you the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of that option any time before the option expires and a put option, option entitles you to sell 100 shares of stock at the strike price of the put before that option expires. But there are also index options which work similarly to equity options except that there's no such thing as 100 shares of an index like the S&P 500 so you can't really buy or sell 100 shares of an in in index but what you can do is get paid in cash $100 per point if the index expires above the strike price of an index call that you buy or alternatively you'll be paid $100 per point for each point the index drops below the strike price of your index put. So for example if the SPX index is trading at 3000 and you buy the 3010 call if the SPX goes to 3015 you would re receive $500 in your account. If the index closes at 3009 or lower your call expires worthless. On the other side of the ledger if you buy a 2985 put and the market sells off to 2975 you'd make thousand dollars but if the market just sold off to 2985 or higher the put would actually expire worthless. So those are the basics of index option. So now here is an example of an iron butterfly. This example is constructed in the SPX index and what you'll see is 10 short calls and 10 short puts at 28.15 which is where the index was trading on this particular day. So those short calls and short puts are right at the money and as protection we buy 10 long calls 25 points above the market at 28.40 and on the downside we buy 10 long puts 25 points below the market at 27.90. This formation, short calls and short puts at the money and two equidistant long options equidistant from each other and out of the money is known as an iron butterfly. Now let's really break down the risks and rewards of each of these options so you understand how and why this trade works. So let's first take a look at why we're entering this trade and actually receiving a credit of cash into our account at the outset of the trade. So as you can see, we pay $6,950 for those 10 2840 calls at the top of the trade because we purchased 10 of those for $6.95 and each point is worth $100 as we mentioned. So the cost comes out to that figure. Similarly, we sold 10 of those at the money 2815 calls and we received over $18,000 for those. 
We also received over $17,000 for those 10 short 2815 puts. And finally, we had to pay almost $10,000 for those protective 2790 puts at the bottom of the trade. So if you do the math, the total cash we received in our account for entering into this trade is $19,400. Now, your broker will margin you $5,600 for this trade as that is the worst possible loss that can be suffered on the trade. So the risk reward on this trade is more than three to one, which appeals to most traders. Okay, so we're off to the races on this trade. And one way that you can look at the iron butterfly trade is that our goal is to have to give back as little of that original 19,400 as possible by the end of the trade. So let's see how this trade actually turned out. And more importantly, we'll explain why. Before we move to that part of the lesson though, I wanted to mention that we're running a two hour free intensive workshop at the moment. So just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in the new window. Or you can just go ahead over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. So let's move forward to March 13th as the options are expiring. And as you can see, the SPX closed that day at 2810.90. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these options are settled in cash after they've expired. So let's break down how each option individually will settle so you'll see why this trade did so well. So both calls, the short 2815 and the long 2840, well, those are above the money. So those calls have no value at settlement. They expire for zero. Now the short put at 2815, that one is $4.10 in the money because the SPX closed at 29.10.90 on expiration day. So that means our account will be debited $4,100 to extinguish our obligation to the owner of that put, as you can see from the calculation. Finally, the 2790 put, well, that is below the market so that also expires worthless. So remember that our goal was to retain as much of the original credit as possible. Well, in this case, that went very well because the only obligation we have to return some of that original credit came about as a result of that short 2815 put. So you can see we were able to walk away with $15,400 in this case, which against the original $5,600 margin on the trade resulted in a $15,300 profit. Now, please don't think that every iron butterfly trade will be so successful. Most will not be. And most professional traders would have probably exited traded a bit earlier, or at least started to close out of their position and cash in some of their chips earlier than expiration itself. But I did want you to see the potential of the iron butterfly trade and its mechanics and provide you with an example of how the profits are calculated at the end of the trade. So the purpose of this video was to expose you to an introductory lesson of how the iron butterfly trade works and its mechanics. There are a lot of nuances to how you can trade the iron butterfly and there are a myriad of ways of modifying it during the course of the trade in such a way as to adapt to changing market conditions and prices. And we'll actually cover some of those techniques in subsequent videos. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed the video and would like to th learn three more real world option strategies that our traders use, including the surprisingly simple strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world like Warren Buffett use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like, where you'll make your target profit, whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of the screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window. Or you can just go ahead over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Now, one more thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos produced for, produced for the trading and investing community. And while you're at it, please, please add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like us to produce next, as well as what you found helpful from this video. 
that will help us to produce high quality videos for you in the future. So from all of us at SMB, trade well.